Hey everybody, it's Lindsay with Garden Minutes and the North End Organic Nursery. I'm here to talk about squash bugs today. So, I have alluded having uh, squash bugs in my garden in this location and I've been very happy about that. I plant my squash late and that's usually a good thing. They found me anyway. Typically they like winter squash more than they like summer squash and here I have a zephyr zucchini and it has squash bugs on it. Um, I was kind of rifling through it yesterday, uh, harvesting, and I found an adult. So I went and I started checking for the signs of squash bugs. What you want to look for on your plant are the adult squash bugs, which I will show right up here. Secondly, you want to find the squash bug eggs. And we have a nice little colony right here. So you can see they're a very pretty copper colored and they kind of lay their eggs in these straight little rows. What we can do when we find these is actually use duct tape to remove them. You can scrape them off with your finger, but if you have a lot of plants to cover, using some duct tape might make it a little bit faster and a little less gross. <laughs> so you're not there scraping away. Here we go. So I'm just gonna take my duct tape on the thing. There we go, eggs are gone. The second thing I'm going to do is use a product called Diatomaceous Earth, also called DE. What this is, is the prehistoric uh, skeletons of little atomic or little ocean creatures called diatoms are made out of silica. And as the bugs that are soft bodied crawl across it, it actually dehydrates them because it slices and dices them. So I'm going to find on here the next stage, which is the nymph stage. And I found these little guys. So this is after they've hatched out of the eggs, Here's those little guys in there and they are just getting ready to be adults and suck the living juices out of my plants here. And so I'm going to take my diatomaceous earth and I'm going to dust them. I'm going to just target dust them right where they are. I don't want to go everywhere and get beneficial insects as well, but this will help to just get rid of these guys. So if you can do this on a daily basis, check your plants, check for the eggs, check for the nymphs, See if you can find the adults. You can organically keep squash bugs at bay. Now, if you have a huge infestation that's taking over your entire uh, squash family patch in your garden, if you have a lot of pumpkins and winter squash and zucchini, you can also use a product like Azazol to spray on the plants. Like all organics, I always recommend doing it after dusk when the bees have gone away. This is not specifically um, a bad pesticide for bees, but we don't want to get a direct hit on them regardless and weaken anything. So. If you have any other questions, come see us at the North End Organic Nursery and get a hold of your squash bugs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. You can leave a comment below and I will get around to answering it. Um, also, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.